So in today's video, I will show you how to solve this problem. As you can see immediately, we have here a problem of two equations with three variables. If you take a look at these two equations on the right side of them, we have the numbers 2020 and 2021. The difference between 2020 and 2021 is 1. So let's subtract these two equations. We are going to have a plus bc and we are going to subtract ab plus c and on the right side we have 2021 minus 2020 because we have subtracted the first equation from the second equation. Now we have a plus bc and minus ab minus c to be equal to 1 on the right side. Let's now combine these terms. We see that a is in common in these two terms, so we can write a and we have 1 from the first term and negative b from the second term. Now from the second and from the fourth term, we see that c is in common and we have b from the second term and negative 1 from the fourth term. And that is equal to 1 on the right side of the equation. Now, as you can see, we have 1 minus b in the first bracket, and in the second bracket, we have b minus 1. So let's take negative 1 in front of this second bracket, and that will give us 1 minus b in this position. So we have a, 1 minus b, we are going to take minus in front of the second bracket, and we have 1 minus b at this position here. On the right side of the equation, we have 1. We now have this 1 minus b pattern, which is repeating in the first and in the second term. And now, we can take 1 minus b as common, and that is going to be in front of the bracket, which is going to contain a from the first term and negative c from the second term that is equal to 1. As you can see in this equation, I have two factors now, 1 minus b and a minus c. And I have to find the integer values for a, b, and c. The question is, how many solutions can I have? I have a 1 on the right side of the equation. 1 can be written as a product of a 1 multiplied by 1, and 1 can also be written as a product of negative 1 multiplied by negative 1. So we have two cases to take into consideration. Let's take the first case into consideration, and that is 1 being written as 1 multiplied by 1. So 1 minus b is going to be 1, and a minus c is going to be equal to 1. The second case of this problem is going to be this one, 1 written as negative 1 multiplied by negative 1. In that case, 1 minus b is going to be equal to negative 1, and a minus c, on the other hand, is going to be equal to negative 1 as well. Now, between the first and the second case, we have a connector OR. So we are going to take union of whatever the solution is for the first case with whatever the solution is on the second case. So let's now solve the first case. We have 1 minus b is equal to 1. And from this equation, we get that b has to be equal to 0. Let's return this 0 into the equations we got at the start of our problem. So b is equal to 0, a multiplied by b is going to be equal to 0, and then c is going to be 2020. So c is equal to 2020. Now for the second equation, b is equal to 0, b multiplied by c is 0, and that means that a has to be equal to 2021. 
And as you can see, if you're plugging the values for A is equal 2021 and C is equal to 2020 into this equation, it will come out as true. So this equation is satisfied. And of course, these are the values which we get for A, B and C in the first case. So that is the first solution of our problem. Let's focus now on the second case. The first equation is 1 minus b is equal to negative 1, and that means that b has to be equal to 1 plus 1, or b is equal to 2. So what is the value of a and c? We are going to return this value of b is equal to 2 in the beginning equations. So we get 2a plus c is equal to 2020, and we get a plus 2c is equal to 2021. And now we have this system of two linear equations with two unknowns. We have to solve this system. Of course, we can solve it by keeping the first equation and then I'm going to multiply it by the negative 2 and add that to the second equation. What I get is negative 4a minus 2c, and I have plus a plus 2c from the second equation. On the right side of the equation, I have negative 2 multiplied by 2020, which is negative 40, 40, and I have to add 2021 from the second equation. What I have now is negative 2c and positive 2c cancelling out. And I have a minus 4a plus a, which is negative 3a, to be equal to negative 40, 40 plus 2021, that is negative 2019. So a is equal to 2019 over 3, and when we calculate that, a is equal to 673. We can return this value of a into the equation which we kept from this system of equations. Then we get that c is equal to 2020 minus 2a, which is equal to 2020 minus 2 multiplied by 673. That is equal to 2020 minus 1346. And finally, we get that C is equal to 674. What we can do now is return the values for A and C into the equation which we haven't used, and that is this equation. And if we return those values, we see that this equation is satisfied. So we finally have the second solution. B is equal to 2, A is equal to 673, and C is equal to 674. And these are the two solutions of our problem. Thank you for watching. Tell me in the comment section what you think about this problem. Please like, share and subscribe and I recommend that you watch this video next.